Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So as you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out and we can begin. Now, the very first energy that I'm looking at is giving me an indication that many of you could be in the mood of trying to figure things out. It feels as if there's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of things that are happening around your love life, okay? Now, with this card, there's this element of not really knowing what you're dealing with. There's this element of you, you know, having to face things that are uncertain, unpredictable. Now, with this particular energy, I do get the impression that many of you could be having a hard time in your love life. I feel like there could be things that are troubling you right now, and it's very much linked to not really knowing what's going on in a particular situation. So you could be feeling paranoid, you could be feeling worried, you could be you know, feeding into your anxieties. The next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that there's this energy of change. Something is changing in this situation. With this energy, I get the impression that, you know, there's a lot of fixed energies here, meaning that the changes that are coming can have a very permanent effect upon your relationship with this individual. And I feel like that it could be one of the reasons why you feel so uncertain right now, because you can feel it. You can feel like something is going to be different. Nothing is going to be the same. There could have been instances where you and the person you're dealing with had a few difficulties, perhaps misunderstandings. I feel like a lot of you are keeping things on the inside. That's what I'm picking up very heavily right now. Now, the next card is showing to me that the individual you are dealing with is really trying to think out of the box. There's something about the energy that has been activated. It is revolving in the wanting to do something but we'll have to clarify to see what it is it feels as if they're getting up to something so let's begin the clarification process Yeah, I'm seeing that this person that you're dealing with is very much dealing with a sense of isolation, loneliness. It's an energy where an individual feels as if they don't know how to handle a particular situation. So what I'm sensing here is that there's this element of helplessness coming from the individual you're dealing with. And they are definitely not feeling really good about the situation. I'm sensing, yeah, that they've been also keeping quiet about some of the difficulties that they've been going through. It feels as if this individual is focusing on the negative, unable to really pull themselves out of it. They could have been sabotaging this connection. But there's also this energy of where they've been intentionally doing so, right? So that's showing to me that they might have been deliberately ignoring you or deliberately keeping you at a distance, it feels very intentional from this individual's energy. Yeah, I feel like this individual hasn't been able to wrap their mind around something. It feels as if they haven't realized something. They've been doing something very intentionally, yet it's been creating a lot of frustration. You may have had at one point trust in this individual, but I feel as if they have certain habits that go against the connection in itself. There's certain patterns and behaviors that are naturally very unhealthy. It feels as if some of you may have struggled to get some form of commitment or just this individual being able to reach out to you has been very stressful. 
in terms of their energy. So they're putting a lot of effort and uh, they're quite determined right now to not give in to a situation. It feels as if they're feeding their fears. Yeah, I feel like someone has been fighting against change in this situation. Someone has been avoiding it, afraid of it, hesitant to go towards it. It feels like this energy of not wanting to really, you know, embrace the situation. So I feel like someone could be having a wounded ego and I feel like they're carrying this energy forward and it has been making things very strained when it comes to this connection at hand. Yeah. This person you're dealing with has been running from change. They've been very fearful of it. It feels like they don't like to do things in a set way. They like to do things in their own sort of way. And they like to be the one that, you know, strikes out on their own path. But often they lead themselves to the point where all their passion... All that emotion and drive that they have makes them feel emotionally exhausted. So they are not able to handle it. So this individual, I feel like they try to avoid change where possible. And when it does come about, they try to run away from it. I'm also picking up that there's an element of emotional stress that this individual is carrying with themselves, but it's coming from fear. So as a result, your energy has been left in a place of uncertainty. You haven't been able to really focus and get things done because you're wondering why this individual is putting so much energy into avoiding change. I feel like this person, for some of you, could be very afraid of reaching out to talking. Right now, I'm seeing that their energy is showing to me that there's an element of disappointment here. Yeah. There might have been an opportunity to communicate, but it was lost. As I mentioned before, someone fed into their fears and they ran for the hills. Very heavy indication that this individual is scared of dealing with this uh, emotions. They keep running away from it. Now, when it comes to your energy, I feel like some of you are having some realizations when it comes to this individual because there's something about commitment and stability that has been on your mind. You want to build up something serious, something real, but this individual has been too afraid to really go towards this. It's like they're carrying this fear, this anxiety inside of them, and they don't know how to deal with these emotions. They don't know how to face these uh, fears, right? With these energies, I see, yeah, it's like they shrivel up, they become so cold, distant and indifferent whenever, you know, their worries get the better of them. They don't really understand how to handle their emotions in a way that is useful for them. And I'm sensing here, this is creating a lot of conflict between you and this individual. This is not how it was supposed to be. It feels like whenever they get very anxious, worried, concerned, and scared, they tend to become this type of individual that hides their emotions, becomes distant, doesn't want to show any sort of feelings in the situation. That's why the change that is necessary is not happening. So this individual you're dealing with, straight up, very afraid of change, terrified of it. They like the way that things were in the past, lots of conflicts. What they had with you in the past, Aquarius, was definitely peace of mind. This individual that you're dealing with, it feels as if they keep a lot of things on the inside and they don't like to get too excited about having things work out for them because it feels as if they're wired in a way in which they may have a lack of confidence 
they may have a difficulty in embracing this emptiness inside of them. So I feel like this creates a lot of imbalance in your life. Because this individual has such fear, anxiety and worry, this individual that you're dealing with has created very shaky ground for you. Okay? And this has messed up with your intuition and your inner voice. Because it's made you more emotional instead of rational. And Aquarian individuals can be very rational and logical. When a person makes you emotional, you know that they are triggering off certain things inside of you. Now, this particular card is showing to me that change, there's something changing. There's an old structure here that has been put in place for the longest of time, and this change has to happen. So I feel like this change could be the start of something. Now, the reason why these old structures have been up, this could be, you know, belief systems. It could be things that are going on inside of an individual's head is because it's very fixed and this energy is talking about not being able to change a dynamic being afraid of it yeah. there's a lot of energy here that is focused on stress and not being able to escape something it feels as if because one individual is suffering in a certain situation in their life it's holding up your relationship so the two of you cannot progress Because of what's going on inside of this individual's head, I feel like it has created something inside of you to open up your eyes, to look at the situation and see it much more differently than you did before. This individual's behavior has been very frustrating and I feel like a lot of you have not been able to find a way out of it. So not only is change coming, I feel like all structures could potentially fall to pieces and there could be you know something changing in the situation i feel like a lot of you have a lot of love for this individual but this person that you're dealing with doesn't really have the confidence in their energy right now it feels as if you know you have a wider support system and what's inside of this individual, it feels as if it's just this emptiness. It feels as if even though you are part of their world, they don't feel comfortable to turn to you. And this makes things even more difficult. So I feel like they have either trust issues or they have really, you know, deeply wounded self-esteem issues. I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at how can you address some of these difficulties that you're facing with this individual. In particular, I'm going to be looking at their feelings, their emotions, what are they going through. I'm also going to be looking at why is this individual putting so much effort and intention into trying to, you know, push this connection away or avoid dealing with their grief. Because it feels as if they have a lot of grief in the situation, they're losing a lot of sleep. And I'm sensing here yeah, that in their heart, if they could get over this anxiety and worry, they would absolutely, you know, change their habits and patterns. But it feels as if it's very fixed right now. And in order for these changes to happen, there's some sort of activation that's going on in your energy where you're switching from being very deeply emotional and having some sort of awakening in this whole process. You can find the link for the extended in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.